topics meaning um, what you learned last week consists topic ni ada dalam your three standards as well so no worries it's take it as a revision take it as uh, your normal studying as well okay so moon cycles and phases last week i taught you guys about system surya planets and stuffs so this week i'll be teaching you guys about moon cycles and phases so when you go out today perasan tak hari ni moon bentuk apa siapa yang ingat siapa yang perasan hari ni bulan bentuk apa tak 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 penuh okay it's not penuh saya tak keluar tengok pasal PKP betul actually it's really cloudy right now so memang tak nampak but I think last it was nearing gibbous um yeah it was nearing gibbous okay so okay hope semua dah masuk dah Okay, so this is last week punya recap. I just want to remind you guys, meteoroid, meteor and meteorite. Okay, I takut you guys nanti confused. This is the conditions of it eh. Okay, meteoroid is when it's on the space, a gigantic space rock is in space. Masuk atmosphere, dia ada the echo run of that. Uh, it shows it travels laju eh. Dia and due to that, you can see the dust particles out there. So it's called meteor and meteorite. So please do not uh, forget this and remember this well. And this is another example. A comet, a chunk of ice and rock originating from the outer solar system, often accompanied by a coma and tail. So comet is the one yang ada macam shooting star kita nampak tu. Okay. And asteroid tu chunks of rock. And between Mars and Jupiter, ada yang get bounced towards Earth juga. Okay, then meteoroid, a space rock that's bigger than a dust grain but smaller than an asteroid. If it strikes Earth, it is then meteorite. Nampak tak perbezaan dia? Meteoroid, meteor, meteor is the falling star. Meteorite apabila dia kena dalam permukaan uh, bumi kita. Okay, moving on, putaran dan peredaran planet. I already um, post this and explain this to you guys as class. As you can see. Um, every planet moves at its own paksi mengikut arah lawan jam kecuali planet Zura dan Uranus. Nampak tak uh, Venus punya arrow macam mana, Uranus punya arrow macam mana? Do you see a difference? Cikgu malam ni meteor akan lalu kan? Well, we cannot see the meteor and most pentingnya jangan keluar rumah, okay? <laughs> From your house you can see but it's very hard to see meteors, okay? So, I hope you can see most of the planets, dia punya perutaran dia ke okay, arah lawan jam but Venus, it's going anti-clockwise, meaning clockwise, okay? And look at Uranus. Dia punya uh, location itself is quite different. Kenapa Cikgu Zura dengan Uranus? Well, that is how those planets are, okay? Most of the time, the planets punya rotation depends on their punya elements of the um, planet, okay? Batu-batu dia, dia punya gravitational pull, pull um, ma magnetic force dia. This is what um, changes, uh, determines the paksi dia, okay? Macam mana dia berputar. It was created like that. In general, yes. That is the answer. But the logical explanation is there are a few factors why it goes that way. Okay. Moving on, we have size and jara. I explained that. Matahari 40, uh, 400 ratio. Eh, ni? Sun 400, bumi, earth 4, bulan 1. So, dalam erti kata lain, matahari adalah 40 kali lebih besar daripada bulan and bumi adalah empat kali lebih besar daripada bulan matahari adalah 100 times much more bigger than the earth okay this is the diameter difference we show 14400 okay example sago glass marble basketball okay so last week you guys were amazed by how big the sun is right yes boleh je keluar rumah okay Okay, tak salah pun. Okay guys, um, 
putaran bumi bergerak ke dari barat ke timur okay and mengikut arah lawan jam. One putaran equals 24 hours, one day kesan bumi putaran I explained last week kedudukan kemudian the presence of day and night kedudukan matahari kelihatan berubah-ubah you see the sun set, the sun rise, the sun peak okay every hour you see the sun at different location kan and then you see perubahan panjang dan arah bayang-bayang when is your shadow long? pada when the sun is at the top of your head ataupun apabila it's on the right ke on your left a bit recap tapi ni general knowledge question eh apabila bayang-bayang kita lagi panjang pada malam ke ataupun apabila there is bright sunlight pagi dan petang pagi dengan petang okay In malam you won't have shadows unless you're under a light source and yes when sun is directly on your head you can still uh, see a bit of shadows but when it's at the side when it's um, rising or setting the shadow is not as long as we have okay so the highest point of shadow is when the sun is at the peak okay cikgu suara cikgu tak dengar Sekat-sekat. Hey guys, sorry if my voice is not clear sebab so, uh, I think the line is breaking. Okay, but audio saya kat sini okay je. Maybe the line is breaking. Sekarang okey ke? Sebab internet saya jangan risau okey. Teacher. Teacher, our earth rotate from west to east or east to west? Okay. Sekejap, I'll show you back. Bergerak dari arah barat ke timur mengikut arah lawan jam. So it's from the west towards the east and it's following anti-clockwise. Just like how the remaining uh, six planets, that's how our earth rotates as well. Okay, ni kena salin ke? Well, jot down the most important points je for your notes. But most of the ones I'm explaining and me take it as general knowledge lah. Okay, but understand the concept. The ones you need to salin, later I'll show you guys, don't worry. Okay, so putaran bumi. The fact that the earth rotates, we are having uh, shadows formation, we are having siang dan malam dan kita ada kejadian air pasang dan surut. Okay. Tahu tak apa maka maksud air pasang dan surut? Tahu. Okay. So air pasang and surut happens in the beaches or dekat the um, usually we see dekat the seas and you know beach always we go ternampakkan pantai uh, so kalau air is more towards us it's like pasang when it's very deep inside is surut so it has influenced by the rotation of sun the earth and the moon as well okay apabila sebab it is pulled by gravitational force water is pulled by gravitational force as well that is why when at the midnight water is pulled towards inside Okay, and during the day night, the gravity moon is further away, so the water pasang. Okay, it has to do with the moon and the water property. Okay, so this is how it moves. Earth rotates by itself at the same time. They juga revolve around the sun. Now I will just touch a bit on lunar eclipse just to explain to you. Okay, kita ada dua eclipse. Eh? What is eclipse in Malay, guys? Gerhana, betul. I was about to ask you. Okay, teacher how about solar and lunar eclipse? I'll explain to you, don't worry. So, solar eclipse happens when, okay, and it's really dangerous for us to see because it, it, it emits, dia keluarkan radiation yang sangat tinggi, okay. Apabila gerhana matahari berlaku kan, kebanyakan teknologi kita juga akan cakap bahasa Melayu boleh, boleh, boleh. I'll explain both language. 
okay, kita kalau kita tengok dengan blind eye memang ada chances nak jadi buta and when ada strong radiation daripada sun tu, okay, ada solar wave kita panggil, di solar flash di mana uh, apabila sun sur, sistem suria kita, our sun is blocked by moon, okay, cahaya dia tak boleh tembus through moon, right? So dia akan keluar from the bulatan, the circumference tu. Okay, that sinaran, that light can damage that waves kita panggil, okay, nanti korang akan belajar jugalah, okay, that waves, that ombak that we can't see with our naked eyes akan damage kebanyakan teknologi kita, our electrical system, our telecommunication system, kadang-kadang um, dululah channel TV semua tak jalan apabila gerhana matahari. Sekarang teknologi sudah maju bolehlah, okay, and memang boleh jadi uh, blind when you don't, uh, when you see the gerhana matahari with your blind eyes. Okay, tak pakai spec or if you don't use uh, the right spectacles, yang dark, dark glasses, you will get eye in, uh, diseases or your uh, the carotid on your eyes will be broken. So, akan sakit mata ataupun you can become blind eh. So, it's really dangerous. Jangan tengok solar eclipse with your naked eyes. Lunar eclipse pula, the sun is facing earth tapi the earth is behind that. Okay, so lunar eclipse are fun, are fine. Memang nice. Okay, gerhana bulan berlaku bila bumi berada di antara bulan dan matahari dalam satu garisan lurus. Exactly, betul. So, solar eclipse happens when the moon is blocking the sun. Um, lunar eclipse happens apabila the sun the moon is being blocked by the earth, okay, from sun's light. This is when we will get to see lunar eclipse, okay. Guys, please don't do that. Okay, detailly I'll explain to you guys a uh, different time. I just want to recap on it a bit. Moving on, peredaran bumi mengelilingi matahari dari arah barat ke timur mengikut alara lawak jam, I explained already. We have 365 days uh, or one year. Sometimes we have 366 days as well. Uh, okay, tahun ni 2020 kita ada berapa, berapa hari? Gerhana matahari tak boleh tengok dengan mata kasar. Gerhana bulan, lunar eclipse boleh. Okay, this year, yes, we have 366 days because it's a leap year where 2020, 2024, 2016, we had uh, 366 days. We have 29th February, okay? So, here what it says is 365 and a quarter days meaning um, we have additional few hours extended, okay? So, kejadian empat musim. Berapa musim kita ada? Empat, apakah musim tu? What is the musims that we have? Musim panas, musim sejuk, musim luruh, musim bunga. Okay, spring, autumn, winter and? Summer. Yes, correct. So, very well done. Malaysia doesn't experience that because we are at Garisan Katulistiwa. So, we do not experience all four seasons. Tapi negara seperti Jepun, Korea, some parts of India, China and negara-negara Eropah kebanyakan experience juga lah. London, US. So these countries experience four seasons and it is also a, re a factor. The main factor why this happens is because the peredaran bumi. Okay. Now let's look at kejadian gerhana matahari and gerhana bulan. I will explain to you guys in the next class before I finish it. Before I finish it, I will explain to you uh, later. But the movement of earth, okay, um, rotational of earth too, okay, bila dia berpusing dalam paksinya, that is what creates the um, gerhana matahari and gerhana bulan, okay, in simple terms. Kejadian gerhana matahari dan gerhana bulan, okay, um, bumi beredar, bumi berputar di atas paksinya selama 24 jam, barat ke timur, lawan arah jam, satu melingkari matahari selama 365 days barat ke timur. Okay, just remember few facts too. And 
bulan beredar, bulan berputar di atas vaksinnya selama 28 hari 28 days takes for a month okay that's how uh, we look at the face of the moon okay it goes from barat ke timur lawan arah jam one uh, meng mengelilingi bumi selama 28 hari and to the next uh, barat ke timur okay i think this is relevant Okay, kejadian siang berlaku apabila bahagian bumi menghadap matahari. We experience daylight when the sun is facing the earth dan menerima cahaya matahari. Kejadian malam berlaku apabila bahagian bumi membelakangi matahari dan tidak menerima cahaya. Okay, what happens then is the one side, one part of the earth is behind of the matahari. Or oh, it's not facing the sun but we are facing the moon. So what happens is the moon will reflect the sunlight to us at night. Okay. Apabila bumi berputar di atas vaksinnya, kedudukan matahari kelihatan tinggi, rendah atau matahari kelihatan barat, timur. Whether it's rising or setting, it's at the west or it's at east. Okay. Jika matahari kelihatan lebih tinggi, maka bayang-bayang objek lebih pendek. Jika matahari lebih uh, kelihatan rendah, maka bayang-bayang objek kelihatan lebih panjang. Okay. Jika matahari kelihatan di barat, maka bayang-bayang objek di timur. Jika matahari kelihatan di timur, maka bayang-bayang objek di barat. This is what I wanted to explain to you just now. But I received a lot of mixed answers. So, can you guys see it? I want you to focus on this sebab Guys, please don't file in the chat section. Okay. Please focus on this. Alright. So, why I ask you to focus on, on this, especially the bolded parts, sebab ni akan banyak ditanya dalam soalan UPSR kurang objektif. Okay, dia akan just bagi one gambar raja yang tanya. Uh, the sun is on the right hand side or the left hand side and tanya where is the shadow is going to come out. So, understand the concept. Fahami concept dia on about the shadows, the kedudukan matahari, okay? Now let's look at fasa bulan, okay? Bulan tidak memancarkan cahaya sendiri. Okay, that's first point. It only reflects, memantulkan cahaya matahari dan bentuk bulan kelihatan berbeza pada setiap malam and antara bentuk bulan adalah anak bulan, bulan sabit, the crescent moon, bulan separa, Bulan hampir purnama gibus moon, bulan purnama full moon, bulan hampir purnama, bulan separa purnama, bulan sabit purnama and it goes to complete darkness. We don't get to see the moon. Okay, so I have few diagrams to explain to you so far. Is there any questions that you wish to ask? Teacher, can you explain in English? Okay hey guys, there is two sets of people here, you want in English and Malay. I can explain to you in Dwi Bahasa. If you tak faham, please ask me again. I don't have any problem explaining. Okay. So is Nuraina, is there any parts yang you tak faham and you and I explain again? Don't worry, I will teach both language. Tak ada masalah. Tak faham, tanya. Jangan malu. No problem at all, okay? Okay, so let's look at this. My slides will be in Basel. I will explain in both. Okay, so bumi berputar. The earth rotates. Paksi, bumi, bara and timur. As you can see at the diagram here. Di atas paksinya selama 24 jam, barat ke timur. That is the side that it is rotating. Okay, now let's look at this. Bumi bereda mengelilingi matahari. The earth rotates uh, 360. Okay, in a circle and its axis, okay, around the sun. Alright, so due to this fact, we have day, night, and we have four seasons as well. And we are traveling from Barat ke Timur. Okay. That is Pergerakan Bumi. Let's move on. 
Now let's look at pergerakan bulan. It's really similar to Earth itself. Like how Earth is for the sun, revolving around the sun. Bulan pula dia akan bergerak mengelilingi bumi kita. So bulan berputar and its own paksi, it has its own axis to rotate. So arah putaran bulan pula is uh, di atas paksinya and sama juga barat ke timur lawan arah jam, very similar. Okay, but here bulan, uh, bumi pula it takes 365 days to rotate around the sun. Bulan only takes 28 hari sahaja. In a month we can see a transformation of a, of a moon from full moon to no moon, to crescent, to gibbous moon, to half moon, okay? Cikgu saya tak nampak apa pun. How about the rest? Nampak tak? Okay, please pin it guys. Nampak je. Nampak. Okay. Kenapa semua bersuara sedih-sedih ya? Eh? <laughs> okay. Happy sikit guys. Jangan risau. Abang ada soalan tolong tanya. Jangan risau. Be happy. Okay. It's an interesting topic. So learn it with excitement. Ada apa-apa soalan? Sila tanya ya. Jangan risau. I'll answer as I could. Okay. So complicated ke? Ada yang tak faham ke apa? Risau lah tengok reaction korang. Okay. Okay. If that is the case, bagus. Right. So I explained to you about the moon and the earth, how it revolves around the sun, macam mana, and conditions dia, 28 days, 365 days. Now let's look at this. Apabila bumi berputar di atas paksinya, okay, and Bulan juga berputar atas vaksinnya juga guys. Jangan lupa matahari, the side which is uh, on the matahari side directly is siang and the opposite side is malam obviously. Kejadian siang berlaku bila bahagian bumi menghadap matahari dan menerima cahaya matahari. Kejadian malam berlaku bila bahagian bumi membelakangi matahari dan tidak menerima cahaya matahari. Sekarang pukul sembilan setengah Malaysia mengalami waktu malam tapi the opposite could be said for countries which are on the western sides. They might be experiencing daytime right now. Okay? 28 hari tu dalam satu tahun ke tak? Satu bulan. Okay, we are seeing the differences of the moon in a month. Okay, dalam satu bulan tu kita nampak the moon is uh, going through multiple phases. Full moon, lepas tu gibbous, you know, crescent. So 28 days is for the moon. 365 days, okay, the four season 365 days is for the planet Earth, okay? Okay, moving on. Apabila bumi berputar di atas paksinya, kedudukan matahari kelihatan tinggi ataupun rendah atau matahari kelihatan di barat atau timur. We have two sides of it lah. So here is a Another explanation based on diagrams. Jika matahari kelihatan lebih tinggi, maka bayang-bayang objek lebih pendek. Jika matahari kelihatan lebih rendah, maka bayang-bayang objek kelihatan lebih panjang. Alright? So, jika matahari kelihatan di barat, maka bayang-bayang objek di timur. Jika matahari kelihatan di timur, maka bayang-bayang objek di barat. Okay? Nampak tak? Diagram ni, first is matahari terbit. Matahari di mana? Timur ke barat? First gambar, matahari terbit. Timur. Okay, matahari di? Timur ke? Timur. How about the rest? Korang je jawab timur yang lain. Semua jawab timur. Okay, betul. Is it betul? Okay. A lot of people are saying timur. Let's follow that. Okay, so kedudukan matahari mm, like nampak rendah and it's at timur. Okay, so matahari kelihatan rendah maka objek-objek lebih panjang. Relevant tak? Nampak tak objek uh, your bayang-bayang lagi panjang? And 
Timo guys, bukan Timon, okay? And maka bayang-bayang objek pula di barat. It's at the opposite side. The opposite can be said for when the sun is on the barat, maka bayang-bayang pula di timur. Nampak dekat matahari terbenam tu, you can see the opposite. It's okay. And tengok, waktu tengah hari, where is the bayang-bayang? The bayang-bayang is very, very less. You don't see much of the shadow because it's directly on top of the head. Okay, so fahamkan konsep ni, relate dengan daily life. Nanti ada soalan yang tricky, tak tahu nak jawab, boleh ingatkan balik based on the knowledge you have. So let's focus back on fasa bulan. Okay, fasa bulan, I dah explain banyak kali dah, bulan tidak memancarkan cahaya sendiri. Dia, bulan adalah satu jenis batu sahaja. Okay, it has gravitational pull, it has so uh, it has no ability to keluarkan cahaya. Dia hanya akan reflect, memancarkan uh, cahaya matahari. Bentuk bulan kelihatan berbeza pada setiap malam. Alright? Bulan memantulkan cahaya matahari. Okay. Nak tanya, siapakah manusia pertama yang pergi ke bulan? Ingat tak? The first man to step out his foot on planet on earth, on moon, sorry. Neil Armstrong, good. Okay, who's the second man? Manusia kedua pula siapa? Tak tahu, okay. It's okay. Saya pun tak tahu. His name is something else, I forgot already. But I've read about him. It's all right. Sheikh Muzaffar did go to the moon. All right, guys. So let's. Yuri Gagarin is the first man to step out um to the space. Okay, it happened during Cold War. Apabila perang um sejuk. Okay, so US dengan Russia lawan siapa nak pergi kepada ke uh, luar angkasa tu. Apabila tu Yuri Gagarin adalah manusia pertama daripada Rusia pergi ke uh, angkasa lepas. Okay, and US pula hantar guy. His name is Neil Armstrong to the moon. Okay. Guys, jangan kecam please. Yes guys, jangan kecam. Okay. So as you can see, diagram ni nampak tak? Ada bulan, ada earth in the center, warna hitam tu. And you can see the sun over there. And you can see there is 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8 bentuk of bulan. Okay. The first one is anak bulan. Where some people call there's no moon. Okay meaning you don't see anything over there. The second phase, you will see the crescent moon. Okay? The third phase, you will see the half moon. The fourth phase, you will see uh, more uh, the crescent, tapi at the other side. Okay, the fifth uh, phase, you will see the full moon. And the sixth phase, you will see the crescent, tapi at the opposite side. Again, the half moon and then another crescent but the opposite side. Okay, so, so far, any questions, guys? Ada apa-apa soalan tak? Okay. So, jangan risau, I'll explain more to about it. So, fenomena fasa-fasa bulan, bulan tidak menggunakan cahaya, dah explain dah. Bulan berputar pada aksinya. Pada paksinya, pada masa yang sama beredar mengikut orbit mengelilingi bumi. Bulan berputar pada paksi dalam masa 27, 1 and 3 days. Okay, 1 and 1 or 3 days dari barat ke timur. Let's just make it 28 days lah. Okay, simple. So, bulan beredar mengelilingi bumi juga dalam masa 28 hari. Dari barat ke timur. So, pentingnya kita faham the moon itself rotates. Okay. And it also rotates around the earth. So, don't forget that. And tempo edaran dan bumi, uh, putaran bumi adalah sama menyebabkan kita sentiasa melihat permukaan bulan yang sama. Bentuk-bentuk bulan berbeza dikenali sebagai fasa bulan. Semasa bulan mengelilingi bumi, kedudukan bulan berubah dengan masa. Ini menyebabkan fasa bulan Bahagian perbulan, 
permukaan bulan yang gelap menghadapi bumi disebut anak bulan. If you uh, nampak the diagram tadi, nampak uh, the first one anak bulan you don't see anything right? And that is because bahagian permukaan bulan yang gelap menghadap bumi disebut anak bulan. Meaning it's not getting any sunlight at all at that moment. That is why it is dark. That is why we only see it dark. We don't see any light source, uh, any light being reflected by the moon. Sebab the positioning dia macam tu. Okay? So, kedua is sebahagian kecil permukaan bulan yang disinari menghadap bumi disebutkan sabit the crescent moon. Okay, just like how your PBSM at your school, uh, red crescent. So, it all symbolizes the crescent moon, right? So that is the sabit lah that we call here. Now let's look at the next one, separa meaning half, okay? That is when half of the moon is very visible and then comes purnama. If you know the exact um, charta dia ada banyak tau gibbous moon and all but for UPSR, uh, we are just looking at this. Okay, guys, since you have no questions, good. Okay, keseluruhan bagian permukaan bulan yang disenari menghadap bumi disebut bulan purnama, full moon, okay. Takkan yang kita guna ialah takkan masihi yang menunjukkan kedudukan bumi semasa edaranya mengelilingi matahari. Alright, so fast forward, fast forward. Here is a calendar. Tadi ada yang tanya kan, bulan in a year or in a month, this is it. Okay, so anak bulan usually first uh, and second day, dua hari, tiga hari macam tu. And then bulan sabit, you will see the crescent moon for three to six years. Half moon for seven to eight, ten days. And then bulan hampir purnama, dia kita panggil dia gibbous moon eh. Hampir purnama is gibbous moon. Alright, so that is the, from the 11 to 13 day. Bulan purnama adalah hari ke-14 hingga 16. So, a middle of the month, middle of the month is 15th kan? Kita ada 30 hari dalam satu bulan, middle of the month is the time we will see bulan purnama. Ni untuk tahun berapa? This is for standard 5. Yes, but it's okay, we still question in your UPSR so no problem I guess. Okay. So bulan selepas pun apa, after the full moon, you will get back the same rotation. Okay, you will have um, bulan separa, half moon and then uh, bulan sabit to a crescent and then again anak bulan repeats itself. Okay. So far, any questions guys? This is a clearer picture. Tapi nampak tak ke blur sangat sebab dia kecil. Kita apa? I'll just explain. Tak nampak. Okay, tak apa. At least nampak kan bulan separa, anak bulan, bulan sabit. Okay. Itu dah cukup lah. The details I will explain lah. Jangan risau. Itu dia saya tak dapat. Never mind. So, I wanted to explain, show you guys this supaya kamu lagi faham. Okay. Apabila hari hati matahari kena and bumi di center and bulan kat sini. Okay. What happens? The first stage anak bulan. Okay. Bulan antara matahari dan bumi. Dan bahagian terang bulan tidak menghadap bumi oleh sebab tu, okay, since the the opposition side of the moon is not uh, getting any rays of light from the sun, it cannot be seen for one to two days. Lepas tu, position dia naik sikit. Apabila dia naik, apa kita nampak is the crescent moon. Here, bahagian kanan bulan kelihatan terang. Kelihatan sabit nipis yang semakin tebal pada malam berikutnya. This is the range dia, tiga ke enam. And then we have bulan separa, the half moon. 
kelihatan seperti separuh bulan, 7 to 10 days. Bulan hampir purnama, the givers moon I mentioned, 11 to 13 days. Kelihatan lebih dari separuh bulan, it's more than the half moon. And size bertambah setiap malam. And bulan purnama, full moon. Okay, ada tak yang kat sini menjadi serigala apabila nampak full moon? I hope tak adalah. Cikgu cakap apa internet saya tak ada lepas tu terkeluar terus. Okay. Me, okay ada yang jadi serigala apabila nampak moon. Okay. So, when there is full moon, you will notice air akan pasang ke surut. Guys, apabila bulan purnama, air laut pasang ke surut. Uf, tak boleh jawab lah. Apa cikgu? Okay, tak apa. Pasang ke, okay. Tak. Apabila full moon, air akan surut juga. Okay. Why? Because as I said, full moon is the part where sometimes the moon is really close. Okay. Sangat dekat dengan uh, bumi kita. Kalian nampak tak? Bu uh, bulan tu nampak besar. Kalian nampak macam super big moon, super red crescent moon lah yang besar-besar. Meaning their positioning kadang-kadang uh, even though axis yang sama but kelihatan lagi besar. Apabila lagi besar, bulan juga ada kuasa graviti. Okay, so apabila it's the full moon and it's the direct proportion, dia punya um, while distance dia lagi dekat at that right time, the air laut akan surut. Meaning it will be centered towards the moon. So daripada land, dia akan turun um, lagi ke tengah tu. Okay. Ni hanya general knowledge tapi it's good that you know this. Okay. And then what happens is bulan selepas purnama, Lepas full moon, it repeats the cycle. Nampak tak? Bulan hampir purnama dengan selepas purnama almost sama. Cuma kat sini bahagian kiri dia tak nampak. Kat sini bahagian kanan dia pula tak nampak. Okay, sebab dia um, pusing kan? So as it's moving, you will, this is the pictures that we get. Okay? And then bulan separuh tua, same half moon. This time, your left hand side je nampak, your right hand side you can't see it. And then bulan sabit, your crescent moon, only your left hand side of your bulan sabit nampak. This is nearing the 26th, 29th day. Lepas tu hari ke-30, hari pertama, again, pitch dark. Tak nampak apa-apa. Okay. Kenapa anak bulan tak nampak? Okay, bagi ni. Macam ni lah. Alright. So, anak bulan tak nampak because there is no sunlight yang kena on the moon at that time period because because the positioning of the moon is like that okay cikgu anak bulan tu dia tu ke belakang ke cahaya matahari ke apa dia anak bulan dia tu ke belakang ke cahaya matahari ke jangan tak nampak Okay, jangan confuse uh, anak bulan dengan luna eclipse ya. Yeah? Dia lain. Okay, luna eclipse position dia is the the uh, earth is blocking the moon. Okay. Tapi anak bulan moon ada cuma kita tak, tak nampak. Dia macam tak ada bulan, invisible, betul. Dia cuma sunlight tak kena sebab positioning dia macam tu. Tak jangan risau guys, yang tak dapat imagine tu nanti I can share satu video on Facebook, okay? Untuk nampak bagaimana tak nampak bulan tu. Okay? Sebab some, sometimes that uh, gambar raja kamu tak faham, video is the best way. So I will share that on Facebook once the class is over. So I will continue with the notes. These are just a bit of recap. Um, boleh baca kan? Nampak kan this time? I dah explain most of it dah. 
Okay, this is the occurrence of day and night, waktu malam dan siang, and fasa-fasa bulan, anak bulan, bulan tidak bercahaya, and why is it like that? Stuff like that. Okay. Okay, kepada yang tanya saya tadi tu, Guys, boleh dengar tak? Yes, class ends at 10. Okay. If you notice here, uh, anak bulan you tanya kenapa tak nampak. Okay, nampak tak the, the first moon kat sini tulis nombor satu. Nampak tak moon yang satu tu? Nampak. Okay. Ni, I tengah... Okay. So I hope you nampak. Okay, so when the sun is shining, okay, you can see that the moon punya satu side nam, uh, is bercahaya, meaning dia dapat cahaya daripada matahari, kan? Tapi the other side, you tak dapat langsung. Faham tak? Waktu tu adalah anak bulan. Apabila dia naik atas tu, okay, matahari punya uh, rays tu cahaya dia kena sikit lah. Apabila dia kena sikit, kita dapat bulan sabit. Okay, apabila dia ke atas on the three, um, nombor tiga tu, okay, that is when we get bulan separa because half of the light kena. So, diagram ni tak sangat jelas tapi itulah konsep dia. I, I hope you faham konsep tu. Okay, so that's the idea lah. The other side of the moon yang dapat light, the side which is facing the earth pada waktu malam tak dapat uh, cahaya matahari. Oleh sebab itu, kita tak nampak apa-apa daripada bulan pada waktu dia anak stage anak bulan tu. Okay? So ni relative size distance. Short recap je. Okay? Ni pun ada explain dah. Okay, this is essential lah guys. Earth rotates on its axis, moon rotates on its axis, moon rotates and at the same time moves around the earth, earth rotates and at the same time moves around the sun. The moon and the earth move around the sun at the same time. Okay, the changes in length and portion of shadow throughout the day, the earth rotates on the axis from west to east. These slides are in English for those who prefer English for your understanding. And here it is the daytime for the part of the earth facing the sun. It is the nighttime for the part of the earth facing away from the sun. Pretty obvious. Sunlight yang kena is daytime, yang terkena is nighttime. And the occurrence of day and night and occur due to rotation of earth on its axis. Okay. Kenapa kita dapat day and night? Sebab bumi berputar daripada west to east. Phases of moon. Cikgu. Cikgu. Yes. Kalau yes, yes. anak bulan, dia yang dia cerah tak, tak menghadap. Maksudnya kalau fasa bulan yang lain, dia apa nampak sikit eh bahagian yang cerah tu. Boleh ulang tak? Kalau anak bulan kan bahagian cerah kan dia tak menghadap bumi. Tapi kalau yang fasa, fasa bulan yang lain, bahagian cerah menghadap bumi kan sikit-sikit. Yes, betul. Apabila dia uh, move around the axis dia, okay, that's when little by little, sikit by sikit cahaya matahari kena atas permukaan bumi. Okay, baru uh, we are experiencing that as well. Cikgu macam mana dia boleh berubah kedudukan? Dia bukan berubah, okay kan uh, bu bulan rotate on its own axis. So when dia, ni axis dia nampak. Satu, dua, tiga, ni axis bulan. Okay. So apabila dia rotate, that's when their position is different. That's why in 30 days in a month, dalam masa 30 hari satu bulan, kita nampak 8 uh, fasa yang berbeza, 8 uh, uh, different surface of the moon. Ada ber bulan berputar mengelilingi bumi. Yes, betul. Guys, ada apa-apa soalan lain?
Okay. That being said, constellation is something I think I will go with next week. For I boleh rush, tapi I think I have to show you about the bulan. Tigu macam mana dia boleh berubah kedudukan panjang dan arah bayang-bayang. Okay. Macam mana dia boleh berubah is dia berubah based on the sun punya position. Kalau sun is on top, uh, you have very less bayang-bayang. If dia dekat the right or the left hand side, you have a longer bayang-bayang um, shadows. Ada apa-apa soalan lain tak? Tak ada soalan. Sekejap guys. Um, boleh dengar tak saya? Tolong buka mic ya, eh, mic. Boleh dengar. Okay. Uh... Boleh dengar. Okay. Wait guys, please off your camera yang tengah buka camera tu. Tolong off camera jap. Saya off cam kurang kurang tutup. Okay. Sebab ramai buka cam dia kadang-kadang lag. Okay so sekarang nampak tak? Can you see what I'm sharing? No, no. No, no. Can you see? Can you see the the slide? Sekarang? Tak nampak bulan ke? Tak nampak bulan. Tak nampak tak apa apa pun cikgu Cikgu tunjuk dulu Oh sekarang nampak Sekarang dah nampak Tak nampak pun Tak nampak Tak nampak Okay sekarang Yes Nampak 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 Okay Okay, dengar tak suara saya? Dengar. Dengar dan nampak. Dengar. Dengar. Dengar dan nampak. Sekarang dengar dan nampak. Okay. Dengar. So ni bulan. Okay. Ni new moon eh. This is anak bulan that you were asking just now. Okay, so pada waktu uh, anak bulan is the only time where solar eclipse could happen because the only time the moon is between the sun and earth. Ni adalah fakta tambahan. Tapi eh, yang anda perlu faham adalah waktu anak bulan tu is the time where, nampak tak? The light is coming a bit by bit. So waktu anak bulan, it is completely shut down. Light uh, uh, is not at the opposite side of the bulan. This is waxing present. Ataupun uh, bulan sabit lah. Ni half moon. Guys apa yang perlu faham ni eh. Bulan tu ada je kat situ tau. 
kenapa kita nampak separuh je adalah kenapa uh, uh, cahaya matahari yang kena atas permukaan bulan tu separuh je. Sebab tu anak bulan pula kenapa tak nampak apa-apa tak ada cahaya matahari yang kena atas permukaan bulan pada waktu tu. Okay and this is full moon and this is how the earth the moon moves around the earth. Okay. So this is how the moon is. So any questions? So jangan risau, I'll find some other better videos and post on Facebook for y'all to watch. Okay, so homework pun I akan post dekat Facebook bagi korang nak buat. Okay, so homework dikira sebagai attendance eh, so please do it. I akan post senang-senang je. Jangan risau. And the time is 9.59. If there's any question, you may ask me now. When I go on a road trip at night, I, just, I feel like the moon is following me. Yes, the moon will always follow you no matter where you go. Cikgu kenapa bukan purnama warna merah? Sebab, <laughs> okay, the red moon only happens during certain times. It is a totally different, kalau I explain macam tu lagi confused. Ellipse tu apa? Okay, eclipse, gerhana, all of that I will explain next week, okay? Because dia content yang mm, boleh tahan susah bagi some people. Nama saya Subah. Okay. Okay. So I hope I explain to you guys regarding um, the shadow, the moon and Gerhana. Yes, class dah habis. So homework I can post dekat Facebook. Tolong buat. Itu sahaja. If there's no questions, you guys can leave the class. Thank you for joining us. Bye-bye. Bye-bye. No. Welcome. Bye. Terima kasih. Cerita Nur. Nur tu mana?